All right, you guys, I got this crusty shell. Let's transform it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. That was too long. <laughs> All right, and we have, ta-da's. <laughs> Let's transform it. One, two, three. Tap, tap, tap. Erk. And clean water. Boom. Ooh, not bad. Look how clean that turned out. Look at that. Huh, night and day. So I'm gonna show an emergency tip with you. If you get water after Sorry, I'm using my other hand. If you get acid on one hand, I'm using one hand with no glove. I have a bad tendency to rest my wrist on the edge where I kind of eh. So if you ha that happens, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just throw your hand in the water and that's it. Same thing, if you drip, throw it your knee in water, put water on it, it doesn't matter. Actually, you can tell my burn marks from earlier. I've been doing this for a couple hours. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I see there might be a little bit of purple wanting to come out on this one. One, two, three. See, that's where you get myself in trouble. Boom. Not as much purple came out as I thought. Then you lay it on a towel. So I have already done all these already. And I'm gonna show you what this pile is all about. And why you're gonna need a colander. So if you don't feel like going one by one, you're gonna fill it up. You guys ready? So I am gonna need two hands for this one. All right, so with this, you are going to, oh my God. I see all the bubbles coming up. everybody today we are cleaning shells and not just any shell All right, we have pectin scallops so they are vibrant in color that's what they look like and we are going to dip them in acid to change the color and clean them up and get rid of all that like gunky bunky stuff on them let's go all right first up Here we go. So we are going to dip it for three seconds. So shells need three to five seconds. Any more than that, it will dissolve them. One, two, three. And honestly, by the time you do this, dip it in water, it's five seconds. Ooh, nice. 
All right, so how do I get this, you're asking? Let me show you. You're gonna have two buckets. Whoops, two buckets. So you're gonna have muriatic acid and water in this one, pure water in this one. You're gonna empty out a whole jug of muriatic acid in this and then use the same amount of water in it. This is just water. You can add baking soda if you want. I have, in six years, I've never needed to. You're also gonna need a colander <laughs> and you're gonna need tongs. Get them from the thrift store for like 25 cents. It does not matter what they look like. Get your shells, a drink, a big old towel. You're gonna use gloves. Don't use gardening gloves, use rubber gloves. And then this is the acid that you're gonna use. This one I got from Home Depot for 12, like 11 or 12. Uh, you can go to Pinch a Penny and get it for um, like 10. It's a lot easier, simpler, faster. And that's the gist of it. That's all you're gonna need, nothing crazy. Out. Oh, and make sure you wear pants. Something you don't mind accidentally ruining. It's funny, in six years I've never ruined any clothes until today. I dropped my phone in the acid. Yes, I did. And I dropped, dripped on my pants. I dripped on my arm. Well, that's happened before. Yeah, it's been eventful. <laughs> All right, so first shell we're gonna do, well, second shell. This is yellow one. So never put your hands in the acid and never do this inside, ever. Okay, ever. Okay. One, two, three. Quickly in water. Go for more than three, you're going to dissolve the shell. So you can kiss your beautiful shell goodbye. Beautiful. Worked out great. Now these are hard to get rid of. I know if you don't like them, they're kind of annoying. I'm like a perfectionist, so I don't like them. But after you do acid on them, you can probably just get some tweezers or like your Dremel or something. Nail file. I don't know. You can pick it away. And there it is. Next up, we have, ooh, wow, what happened to you? So all this white is calcium. All right, so let's dip it. Let's dip it, let's dip it. One, two, three. Look at that, look how dirty it is. Go to the side. Go to the side. Remember, the acid is still on it. Dip in water. And then, what you'll need to do when you do big batches like this is change your water every so often. I usually change it. Well, I don't really have a certain time. Just whenever it starts to feel a little dingy, that's when I change it. But that's how you do bulk them out. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on cleaning shells, pecked and scallops with muriatic acid.